Hi everyone, welcome to the 23rd episode of MOV Leaders, a podcast where we celebrate women leader. Today we are going to call out a special women trailblazer, B.B. Nagaratna. She is the current justice of Karnataka High Court and she is in line to become the first woman chief justice for Supreme Court by 2027. Congratulate uh, Nagaratna for making us all proud. So today we are going to enter into our episode. This guest is my favorite guest because her journey is so versatile and she is a self-made female. And she started her career as a kindergarten uh, uh, you know, um, teacher, which is a very passionate job. From there, she moved to a PR and communication professional. And after establishing herself as a PR and communication professional, she founded Galvanize, a PR uh, communication firm. She didn't stop there. And then she evolved herself with And We Met, a dating online dating services for serious relationship. Is it not a versatile profile? So without any further delay, let's welcome Shalini Singh to the show. Thank you so much, Sindhya, for having me on the show. Thank you, Shalini. How are you feeling to be part of MOV Leaders? Um, excited. <laughs> Good to know, Shalini. Good to know, Shalini, as I was telling in my um, introduction, uh, I was so amazed with your versatile journey of uh, right from being a kindergarten teacher to a PR and communication, um, you know, a professional to a founder of a PR and communication firm. And now, um, and we met. Uh, I really wanted to know your interesting journey. Uh, why don't you brief us your inter interesting journey to the audience? Um, so it's been a long journey and I cannot say I planned it. Uh, things just happened one after another. Uh, while I have a degree in uh, preschool education, uh, I started my career and I started my career as a kindergarten teacher and I loved what I did, but uh, there was this um, need to do something more. And maybe because I had plenty of time, you know, post school, uh, which used to get over at 1.30. So my jump to PR was actually the need to, you know, occupy the time uh, that, you know, I had when I would return. And I ended up uh, interviewing with uh, one tech PR firm, which was just starting up then. And, um, you know, uh, in fact, you know, um, when I interviewed with them, I had no knowledge of what tech was at that point in time. And um, at the interview, he said that, you know, uh, I run an IT PR firm. And for me, I asked him income tax because it was not information technology. And I think that did it because he said I was so confident too when I, when I responded to, to his query and uh, well, uh, and then it was PR and communications. So which also led me to start my own PR firm. Uh, as regards to uh, and we met, uh, it's a different story altogether. Uh, I've been wanting to contribute in this space uh, for some time now, but uh, because of personal experiences as well. And the idea, it, it took shape a couple of years back. And now I've been at it uh, with the uh, hammer and tong ever since. It's interesting, uh, Shalini, because um, everyone will get an interest, feel like doing something or the other. Picking up that and making it as an actionable thing is something very special. And I'm seeing you that you're doing and you're uh, taking a lot of smart and calculated risk. I'm sure it will yield soon. So when I was browsing your um, uh, website uh, or the app, uh, one thing... Uh, I noticed this. It says it is for um, slow and conscious dating, um, right? And it is um, definitely redefining the mindset of long-term relationship and its label. How are you going about it, Shalini? So let's talk about speed first, right? So efficiency, speed, quick turnaround. Uh, while this is good metrics to have for a majority of industries, um, I do not think or believe that it's relevant uh, when it comes to a uh, serious, serious dating space. And uh, we at Anvi Met firmly believe that it should be conscious and slow and mindful and a far cry from the swiping culture as we see. Uh, as for the labels around long-term relationships, while marriage is the acceptable committed form of relationships by our society, uh, our survey showed that, uh, you know, uh, that Indians are looking for choices of committed relationships. So on Anvimet, we allow subscribers to choose from the incumbent, which is marriage, 
as well as live in or even un as undecided. If they're undecided, they can choose that. So, so what we are trying to do is we're just trying to uh, just ease the whole process. Uh, and I do think we are a few years ahead in time, but uh, so that, that's where we are. So as you rightly said that uh, maybe it's few years, we are uh, early. But those who make that uh, early advantage are visionary move, uh, go places, right? So I'm sure that uh, you have done that because it's like when Ola comes, many would have told in India, this will not work, right? When Swiggy comes, people would have uh, said that in this market, it will not go well. But uh, we Indians are uh, demographically wide and we have, as you rightly said, that we need no, so many yeah, choices. Also, yeah, you know, what I would just say is that, you know, uh, I think we need to stop boxing relationships right. because it, it's a very personal, it's a, it's a very personal experience. And, and, and I do think that, you know, um, and I think relationships and long-term relationships, serial relationships, serious relationships, be it marriage, be it live-in, be it companionship, uh, I think they're very, very powerful. Um, and uh, so, but, but as a society, we do not, uh, we need to start respecting any kind of relationship. And that's what we're talking about on Unlimit. So that's what I was uh, mentioning the same thing. So you're, you're a visionary in this space, so I'm sure that uh, uh, you guys will do well. Because why I'm saying is there are so many dating apps uh, over there. So my quest my next question uh, is that. Uh, so how you differentiate? You have given me a context like how uh, you're going about uh, serious, conscious, long-term, uh, slow uh, and steady relationship. But uh, in a nutshell, how do you differentiate yourself from a lot of casual dating, um, you know, uh, websites or apps available in the market. So Andymed is a far cry from um, the contemporary platforms where swiping is a norm, right? And what we are doing is we are providing a safe and a transparent environment. And that's core yeah. to our philosophy. And uh, we're taking great pains to ensure that. So be it our method of uh, uh, how we approve our subscribers or our elaborate onboard onboarding process. And like as stated earlier, um, we are promoting slow dating, which is about uh, quality over quantity. Very, very uh, interesting, Shalini. And one more, um, you know, little bit in-depth question I wanted to ask you is, uh, you are doing a service which touches an intimate and important part of human uh, life. And also you're making a lot of human connection in this. So what is the rewarding part in this whole journey for you, Shalini? The whole journey from product building to where we are today has been evolving uh, till date. Uh, while we are setting to stand out in this space, there have been plenty of naysayers. However, our members' appreciation and the belief in us uh, has kept us going. Um, and then also people have reached out to me from world over stating that the, that the product, whatever we have made, resonates with them and their thoughts. So such uh, feedback is satisfying, gratifying, and it's difficult to put in words. Uh, besides this, this journey couldn't have been how it is going on or where it is today without my, my small team, who, which is really driven and hardworking. Great, great, Shalini. Great to know. Uh, so um, another um, question which is coming to my mind uh, is like you have before being a founder or, uh, you know, uh, you have been under the capacity of manager uh, in various roles like PR, marketing, analytics, etc. So how have these learnings helped you to build and be met from the ground? Do you think uh, these experiences made some pillar uh, for you to um, weave and we met? I think all industries and the industries that I have been in, but I, I would say all industries, the common thread that ties everything is the knowledge of human behavior. Uh, you know, and um, it's so, and it's more so, you know, and it's relevant, especially when uh, we are building a relate, we're building a, you know, a platform that's talking about relationships and human emotions, right? So, so the broad tenants throughout stay the same. 
Um, I think my formative years in the industry, they helped me hone my skills in building long-term professional relationships. And uh, it kind of comes naturally to me. And this experience has come handy while I was building and we met. But um, having said this, you know, I'm someone like who is focused about things that I set out to do. And this has been consistent in anything I do. So, uh, and I'm bringing this to and we met as well. Very interesting conversation I had with you, Shalini. Um, so every podcast, first, I will learn something or the other. Um, so I'm a one uh, person who... Um, used to be very focused and I know where I have wanted to learn or land. So always wanted to be in marketing and very focused on a niche area. Uh, I always uh, admire people like you um, who is versatile. Um, it's a different kind of skill or different kind of mindset you need um, to be a founder. Um, you know, you, uh, you really do. Really, you, you really, really need to be very, very strong uh, because uh, for working professionals, at least you will have a psychological safety. Maybe a variable may not be a constant thing for you, but I, you know that something in the end of the month, uh, you will be earning. But being a founder, uh, it's totally the other way around. You need to ensure that you need to earn enough uh, for you to pay and keep that psychological safety for your employees. And you have to always think about scaling. And, uh, but, but, you know, but, you know, I think, I think the whole excitement is that you're creating something and the Correct. journey becomes even better. Uh, you know, if you have a great team that believes in the similar vision as yours, and I think I consider myself extremely lucky to have a team like that. So, you know, yes, it's tough, uh, but it doesn't feel so at the same time. We, that's what um, I'm trying to say. Like, if you are very strong, and uh, if you're a strong leader like uh, Shalini, I'm sure that, uh, you know, a lot of wonders are possible. So before wrapping up this session, Shalini, a couple of uh, lighthearted or a short questions for you. Uh, so one thing is, okay, in case if you have not um, uh, found out and we met app, um, mm -hmm. and you have to find an another app means what would be that? If I had to create another business, I think it would be around human relationships some form or the other, but around human relationships. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Okay. So, um, okay. Uh, the next question is, uh, how do you um, reach your target audience? This video um, was, it's a good form for you to reach out to your target audience or what is the um, route you so take? We, to? Oh, yeah. So how we reach out. So uh, we've been very lucky friends and family. Uh, there is media that's helped us out. Uh, there is social media, which is all yours. So, you know, uh, that's there. And videos are absolutely, absolutely very, very important today. Uh, so, um, but we haven't gotten down to creating videos per se, but uh, we are, we will be launching uh, videos very soon. But yes, they're very, very important. So the final um, question I have for you is, Shali, uh, if anybody is seeking out a romantic relationship, what would be the one piece of advice you wanted to give them? What I would say is uh, take it slow uh, and give about seven to 10 dates before you actually emotionally invest in each other. And um, all the best. <laughs> so all the answers were short and sweet and powerful, uh, Shalini. Um, as you, uh, I'm a bit impressed uh, with that slow and conscious dating principle. And um, I'm sure that many will uh, be benefited because today it's very important to have a right companion, um, you know, for you to be uh, successful in whatever you're doing or for you to be happy. It's an, one of, the, I'm not saying that is life, but it really helps you uh, to gain some confidence or as a support. Uh, right. things so I, do, I do say that, you know, uh, I do say that, you know, if you're looking to find a partner, uh, do not make it uh, your life goal. Make it your Correct. relationship Correct. goal. That's what so. I was about. Yeah. So interesting, Shalini. It was nice uh, meeting you. We really enjoyed the uh, conversation. So those who are watching this on the YouTube, uh, please um, remind yourself the same thing is available uh, in all the streaming podcast platforms. Uh, looking forward to meet you with an, another interesting guest in the next episode. 
Until then, this is Sindhya Balasingh signing off from all of you. Thank you.